I think the headline versus the underlying is uh, simple accounting. It's a simple timing effect uh, under IFRS where we're uh, accounting for a hedge and not accounting for the value of the portfolio. So there's nothing going on there. The key is what's happening in the underlying. The underlying uh, results are very strong, $3.3 billion of underlying profit, third strong quarter in a row, uh, another beat. Importantly, uh, strong cash, $6 billion of operating cash. And actually, when you adjust for working capital, it's closer to $8 billion in the quarter. Net debt down, actually, for the sixth quarter uh, in a row. The dividend uh, sustained, as you said. And importantly, Steve, we just announced uh, $1.2 Five billion dollars of buybacks, and that takes us to over three billion dollars uh, this year so far. So, you know, I think the environment clearly, the, the the oil price, the gas price helps. But the most important thing for me is that the business is running uh, really, really well. So, hopefully, that helps as a little bit of an explanation. Yeah, absolutely, Bernard. But I do want to pursue, and I don't really want to bore our viewers too much with accounting, but I just want to confirm that these hedges aren't hedges that have gone wrong. These are hedges that we will see perhaps in the fourth quarter. That six billion, or in fact, $6.1 billion coming right back onto the balance sheet and inflating the fourth quarter numbers. There isn't an anomaly where your hedges have gone wrong somewhere, is there? Completely not. We're simply accounting on one side of the equation and not on the other side, as required by IFRS, and this will unwind over time. So the key thing really is to look at the underlying performance of the business where there is no mismatch in the timing of the accounting. And there you see the $3.3 billion, third strong quarter in a row, and another beat on expectations. Bernard, I just wanted to ask you about the, um, the trading gain. Um, you'll be aware of uh, stories suggesting a $500 million uh, gain in the third quarter, particularly around the spike in gas prices. Can you confirm that and talk to us a little bit about how the trading units operating around these vol very volatile energy prices? Yeah, we, uh, we had another strong quarter uh, in trading, particularly uh, in natural gas. We don't speak about uh, specific numbers, but it, I can confirm that it was a strong quarter. Uh, our teams around the world are very focused on doing what they can to ensure security of supply, optimize flows in what is a tight market, a market that remains well supplied in natural gas. Uh, and from a financial perspective, it was indeed a strong quarter. Are you um, concerned at all that those kind of headlines might attract unwelcome attention from governments at the moment who are struggling, it seems, to manage the cost of fuel? I think as long as we do what our teams are focused on when they get up each and every day, the teams that work in, in this part of our company, and I've spoken with many of them personally here in London and in the US, and that is focused on making sure that our customers, uh, be they industrial customers or residential customers in the US, we supply over 100 cities in uh, North America. As long as we are focused and remain focused on the first priority mean being about those customers getting the supplies that they want, then that's what we do. And that's what we're focused on. The market then is the market. And I think we all understand that this is a global phenomenon that is at play. So key for us is be very clear on what our objective is each and every day. And that is to make sure that our customers get the gas energy uh, that, they, uh, that they want and need. Uh, Bernard, so many questions. Let's just uh, try and get one or two COP questions in there. Um, I was at COP21, as you know, back at the Bourget in, uh, in 2015, and Bob Dudley and Patrick Pouillonet and I met on the sidelines there. There's no place for the oil companies here in Glasgow. It's been pretty made clear that the oil companies or the energy companies are just not welcome as well. Are you losing the public relations battle to persuade people about the journey you're on, sir? Well, look, I think uh, members of our team or of my team actually are on the ground there uh, today. I think the, you know, I understand the situation and, and there is a view among some in society that companies like ours uh, are not part of the solution. And can I just take a moment to give you one example of why I think that is not quite right. And let me just take one part of our business and let me just take the third quarter. So let me just take mobility 
uh, in the third quarter and what we are doing uh, in this space in the matter of the energy transition. In China, in the past 12 months, we've increased the number of charging points eightfold. We opened our 100th site in China in the third quarter. In Germany, we signed a deal with Burger King to put charging points into their outlets. In uh, the UK, Hammersmith is the uh, most widely used charging uh, retail station in the UK, 7,400 transactions in the quarter. In the quarter, we signed a deal with Daimler to build uh, hydrogen uh, fueling infrastructure for trucks in Britain. In the European Union, we uh, invested into DCS, digital charging solutions, to get our, uh, our technology in the dashboards of more, co more car companies. And we signed a deal with Piaggio, who are Europe's largest uh, two-wheeler manufacturer around battery swapping. And in India, finally, um, we bought into BlueSmart, uh, invested in BlueSmart, which is an all-electric ride-hailing company, and opened our first GOBP retail site with EV charging. So if you look at the substance in just one sector in one quarter, I think it's hard to argue that we are not part of the solution here. But I understand clearly that some people think that is not the case. And our job is to focus on our strategy, focus on execution. And over time, I believe that people will see that companies like ours can actually be part of the solution here.